In this past week, we have gotten more snow than we've gotten all winter. You can see right here is the pig pen. This is one reason why I'm happy we don't have pigs in the winter time. See how tall the snow banks are? Uh, we're on our way down to go get out the tractor so we can help finish cleaning up and dig out some spots. That should be fun getting the tractor out. Let's try to get her out now. Just show you around the properties, let you see how much snow we actually really have. It's the front of the house. All the snow is falling off the front roof. There's our garden bed, what's left of it for now. I'll show you the back roof. Still got all the snow on it. The front part of the roof gets hit with the sun, so the snow always falls off a day or two before the back. Probably about a good 18 inches to two feet up there. I'll show you the winter coop. That's doing pretty good. Snow's built up pretty good on the sides from falling off the roof. But... Chickens are doing good. So are the ducks. Laying some eggs for us. This is why we have a winter chicken coop. That way they can have a fresh run in the winter time without being covered in snow. They can have fresh hay and to peck around, scratch at, and have some bugs still in there. If we had an outside run, they would just be covered in snow right now. Not happy. They'd be stuck in a little tiny coop. We live on a private road. What that means is the road's not maintained by the town. So we, we plow it and take care of it. A couple of the neighbors out here have our own plow trucks. Now we gotta try to go use the tractor and wing open the road so if we get more snow we have a place to put it. Might not be Wrangler Stodge tractor, but she'll get it done. So let's go do it. good you could see that or not but we broke the plow it's just a homemade plow I set up I have in my tractor I just keep a pin in it for the angle and we broke it hopefully we got another one in the house let's go find out how we gonna fog up in here Let's see what we can find. Maybe this one will be long enough. Seems strong enough. Hopefully this one's long enough and we can get back to work. Uh-oh. I don't want to work. This is probably why we didn't use it last time. There, I like that. We'll keep it straight. <laughs> Let's go get back to it. Get this road widened up.
And I should take a minute and tell you why we're winging back the sides of the road. You can see the snow bank from the edge of the road are just as high as the Kubota tractor. So right now we're getting all the snow, I'm pushing it with my plow, and it doesn't want to go up. So the road just keeps creeping in and creeping in. If I don't knock the top back a little bit, like I'm doing over here, right here, there won't be any place for the snow to go, and the road will just get smaller and smaller and smaller. And it's only the middle, it's only the middle of February, so I mean, we could get a couple more good snowstorms with a foot and a half of snow at a time, and we'd be in trouble then. So now that we, it's not snowing, we have some time. We're just gonna go around and clean up the road. The snow fell off the back of the roof. I wish I would have got that on camera, but we missed it. I don't know how good you can see it. We had a walkway right through there, but it's gone now. Now we're ready for the next big snowstorm. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. New videos every Saturday. And we'll see you right back here next time at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.